Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Lauren if you're new here and if you're not new, you're the best for coming back. Thank you. Today we're going to be talking about a brand that is totally new to me that was actually recommended by one of my favorite subscribers. And we have very similar tastes when it comes to color and, and the, what we like to see in a palette. So when they recommended this palette to me, I, uh, I bought it <laughs> and I am not regretting anything. I'm really excited to try this palette out, to do some swatches and to do a look. And uh, what are we talking about today? Well, first off, I was excited because this is an indie brand. So indie brands tend to be operated by very, very small teams, sometimes only one or two people. And they come out with some of the most beautiful eyeshadows that I've ever seen. I was reading up on this particular indie brand in their About Us section, and it said most of the products are made in-house, which I kind of love to see. I love when, you know, these stores just create everything, they, they put out everything, they just they do all the work. <laughs> like, it's, it's a lot of work to make the product, produce the product, sell the product. Like, it's a lot. So I love supporting indie brands when I can. And yeah, so this is a totally new brand to me. They are called Ensley Rain, and the palette we're gonna be talking about today is the Cosmic Dreamer palette. And let me tell you, let me open it. This is a grunge lover's dream. Look at this color story, I am obsessed. I am absolutely obsessed. I think it's gorgeous. I have swatched everything and will be showing you, and the swatches are, amazing like the formula like touching it oh my gosh I cannot get enough so I'm really excited to do a look with this and uh, just talk about it you know just relax today's Sunday I've been cleaning and organizing and uh, I just want to do a makeup look so that's what we're gonna do um, I did pick up a couple other things from Ensley Rain I figured eh, I might as well try out some new products and I am not gonna be using these in the video, but I did just do a short with them. So I, I think I can link shorts, I don't know, I don't know. But I just posted the short like two days ago. So check it out if you haven't. But this is their multi-chrome moon dust shadows. I have Dark Forest and Fairy Fire, and um, these are multi-chromes, and they are amazing. I cannot stress enough how amazing these are. That's why I had to do a short just with them, all by themselves. Uh, cause they deserve the limelight. They are amazing. So, um, I just have never, <laughs> never used multichromes like this that are so, they just, uh, there was like no fallout, which is kind of insane. Like it didn't get all over my face, which I feel like loose multichromes normally do. It was just, it was an amazing experience. So I just wanted to mention those before launching into the palette, but let's just get into it. Um, in case you're curious, I will have this palette linked below. I believe it's still available on their site. Uh, it did retail for $56, but I searched for a code. So there are definitely codes out there if you want a little bit of a discount. And yeah, let's get into some swatches. Let's get into the look. And I don't know. Let's try out Ensley Rain. Okay, so here we are swatching the Cosmic Dreamer palette from Ensley Rain. And we're gonna we're gonna hope these all fit on my hand. We're gonna try. So I'm gonna start with Moonchild. Enlightened. Stargazer. Visionary. Oh, that one feels really nice. Ooh, that one feels nice too. Cosmic Dust. Ooh, very pretty. Dreamscape. Wild Child, oh my gosh. Uninhibited. Meraki. Oh, another very pretty one. Lunar Storm, oh my gosh. Dreamy, enthusiastic, lucidity, look at that, oh my gosh, it's so metallic, <laughs> spontaneous, okay, it doesn't want to swatch over my bone super well, but... <laughs> 
eccentric. Ooh, how pretty is that? Oh my gosh, Cosmic Queen. Wild Hearted. Wanderer. Ooh, it's a really pretty color. Free Spirit. Oops. I definitely got, <laughs> I touched some of the orange and wanted to come with. Uh, still very, very beautiful. Dream World. Radical. Serendipity. Imaginative. Astral body. And ecliptic. So here's the entire palette swatched. I have to say, uh, some of them felt so amazing. <laughs> like, I cannot wait to put them on my face. So yeah, let's get into the look. I haven't done my eyeshadow in like three days and I desperately miss it. <laughs> so first I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes. I'm gonna use my tried and true MAC paint pot in Bare Study. Look at the hole in that, look at that dip. I feel like we're almost reaching bottom, we're so close. I've had this thing for years, years and years and years. And I do like doing two different looks when trying a new brand, but I'm a little tired, so we're just gonna do one look today. I already looked at the website to see what other palettes I wanna buy. Oh, I have a problem. So uh, yeah, I uh, just by swatching this alone, it made me want to seek out all of their eyeshadows. That's healthy. That's a healthy obsession, right? This is one of my other cats. Normally you see Hunter on screen. This, we call him Baby, but his name is Ritzy. It's actually Baron Ritz von Caddington. Uh, that's his proper title if you would like to address him. And he doesn't love being held, but he did want to make an appearance and say, hello. Why do you use all of these? I, I don't even know where to start. Like they all just felt so beautiful on my fingers. And honestly, I, they're all calling to me, which is a problem. You can't wear everything on your eyes. But I, I think I'm gonna go in with the oranges. There's quite a few oranges in this palette that are kind of more burnt, grungy orange. And after swatching Wild Child, this uh, craziness, um, I do wanna put it on my eyes. So I think we're gonna do something orangish. So I'm gonna start with Wild Child. I'm gonna go ahead and put that all over my upper eye. I don't really have a plan. But I do like to pull out my oranges every now and again. So yeah, let's go ahead. Mull that way down really, really nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just nice when things work out, you know? Wow, okay. So, so far, we've only used one color, but there's no patchiness. There was no fallout. That was a really nice experience. <laughs> that was beautiful. Okay, what do we wanna do next? There is some kick up in the pan, but I didn't get any fallout on my face, so perfect. I think what we're gonna do next is, I wanna go into this aqua color. So I'm gonna go into Dream World. We're gonna put it somewhere. I think I'm just gonna put it in my crease. Okay, what do we want to do next? I will say there's going to be a time and a place for this top row. I think I'll be able to use one color in this look from there, but they all felt so nice. Like it's such a smooth formula. So I want to use them. Um, but I think right now we are going to go into, let's go into serendipity and kind of halo out the look. There 
was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good So one thing you do have to watch out for when you're dealing with darker, grungier colors is that layering them on top of each other doesn't work very well because if you combine a dark color and a dark color, you're probably just going to get a little bit of a muddy color, right? It's not like combining like a bright orange with a bright pink. Is that purple? That's not purple. What is purple? Oh my God. It's embarrassing guys. Okay. What two colors create purple? You know it. I know it somewhere in my head. Um, I'm just going back in with eccentric that super pretty green because layering too much brown on it is kind of hiding some of the beautiful colors. So I'm just adding it in. I will say this is not the best brush to be using for this. It's not quite stiff enough. When you want to do fine detail work in your eye look, you want a more stiff, precise brush because it will help you so much. So I think what I'm going to do, just so we can say that we've used some of these colors, I'm going to go into Visionary. I'm going to put that kind of right above everything. I got this set of brushes from Tarte like forever ago. And it's still, they still are amazing. Tarte makes great brushes. <laughs> going to put that same color visionary underneath okay so now of course we have to go into wild child so I'm gonna just put it on my finger and I'm going to just dot it in the middle of everything and kind of spread it a little all over the lid Kind of bonkers it's so so pretty it's definitely giving me fall vibes i apparently am going for fall vibes <laughs> it's summer what am i thinking i you know i was gonna use that purple but i was like okay they know i'm gonna use that purple so i'm gonna surprise them and do something different and uh this is making me wish it was halloween oh oh my gosh that is insane. That is so pretty. Ugh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. Again, we're just going to do the exact same look that we did on this eye. But I'm going to put on some eyeliner, mascara, to complete the look. And we're going to come back and talk about it. Okay, this is the look. But I was thinking, I don't have any highlighter on. So I am actually going to see if we can use Moonchild as a highlighter. Uh, maybe we can, maybe we can't, but I've got a fluffy, fluffy, somewhat fuzzy brush here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray, I have some of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I'm just going to kind of do that. Dip it in Moonchild and let's see if we can do a highlighter. Ooh, I think it works. Oh, wow. I very much think that works. Ooh. I'm gonna do it on the other side. If you hear a lot of crunching or scratching noises, my cats are very oddly active right now. I don't know what's happening. They all wanna be in the video. It works really, really well, actually. Okay, so this is the final look now. What do we think? Do we think it's fall? Because I apparently do, because this feels like fall to me. I would not be surprised if you saw this palette pop up in my best palettes for fall next fall, which is coming up. What month is it? It's July almost. We're at the end of June and it's freaking me out. I don't know what day it is. I don't know what month we're in anymore. And the weather does not help because I just want it to be hot. <laughs> I just, it's California. Where's the hot weather? Okay, okay, I'm done ranting. You know, I always have to talk about the weather in every single video. So, but let's talk about the important thing. Let's talk about the Cosmic Dreaming Ensley Rain palette. Uh, first off, 
huge thank you to the subscriber who recommended this palette because I, it's beautiful. I love it. It's beautiful. It's grungy. You can go light though. There are definitely some lighter colors here. You can kind of do whatever you want. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of options in this palette. It is a pretty wide variety of colors. You have your beautiful foiled shimmers that I just want to put all over my face. And you have some of the more very finely milled shimmers in this top row, which just, they feel so smooth. Like some shimmers can be a little grittier. They're just flawless. They feel so smooth, so beautiful. We obviously did not even get to everything, but the ones that we did get, let's talk about. So first off, the mattes. I thought the mattes performed extremely well. I didn't have any issues with patchiness. There was no fallout from the mattes at all. There was some kick up in the pan, so just be aware of that. I definitely recommend just kind of tapping your brush before applying anything to your face, uh, just in case there could be some fallout. Um, that's what I did before I applied anything, so I didn't have any issues with fallout from the mattes. For the shimmers, there was a little bit of fallout. I did notice there was a little bit of shimmer flakes on my face. I think they were from Wild Child. So I think next time I use one of the foiled shadows, so Wild Child, Lucidity, Cosmic Queen, I feel like I would want to use a glitter glue. The NYX glitter glue is one of my favorites. Super affordable and it really holds down anything you put on it. It's great. Uh, the Lunar Storm, we did not get to so I don't even know why I'm bringing it up, but I think it's a multi-chrome. Pretty sure it's a multi-chrome. We didn't get a dig into it. So I am just looking at it. It's shifting right now. It's beautiful. We need to use it soon. But for the ones that I did use, such a great experience. So much fun being able to use Moonchild as a highlighter. You can do that probably with any color if you wanted to, right? Any color. And uh, it works super well and I really like it, so yay. And I, I just, yeah, it, it was just a beautiful palette. It was so much fun to play with. I had the very similar, very similar experience using their multi-chrome shadows as well. Their loose multi-chromes. I actually might have to pick up a couple more because the experience was so great. But I just, this was such a fun brand to experience. I really enjoyed this and I'm looking forward to using it a lot more in the future. So I'm glad that I have it in my collection. I'm glad to be supporting another indie makeup brand because we love our small creators on this channel. So yeah, definitely check out Ensley Rain if you haven't yet. I have them linked below. None of my links are like sponsored or monetized or anything. I don't make anything off them. They're just for you if you want to check them out. So feel free to check them out. Everything I have on my face is also linked down below. And if you haven't had a chance, I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of this year. And I think we can do it, but I do need your help. So be sure to hit that subscribe and like buttons. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.